this latest video in my Asperger Syndrome and Bipolar series. It's called Bipolar and Asperger's The Brutal Truth. And on the surface, this sounds like I'm going to be telling you terrible, horrible things about both disorders and how ridiculously hard it is to cope. But that is not my point. The brutal truth has to do with the strengths that we have and how it's often overlooked by professionals and family members. This is the brutal truth that a lot of people don't want to hear because they want to put us in a category where we are weak and um, completely disabled, whereas we're not. Here's some examples of my personal strengths. I have a very high verbal IQ at 131. And I do have two master's degrees, one in psychology and one in education with an emphasis on counseling. And I have written a book that's been very successful, Borderline and Beyond. And I've given workshops, and I did a retreat at one time. I've given lectures at places like Rutgers University and uh, in service for Shark Hospital in San Diego, California. And I'm proud of these accomplishments, but it hasn't enabled me to build the type of career that I've really needed to build for myself. And so I, the reason I've not made the steady progress that I had hoped to make in my life is because um, with my couple of episodes, we have a very unstable up and down cycle, obviously. So we bring things up, and we have wonderful, flighty, but wonderful ideas when we're up. It can get a lot accomplished, and other people think, wow, I mean, this person is just self-actualized. And then when we crash, we can barely function sometimes. And that's just my personal point of view and how it's affected me. And with Asperger's Syndrome, we have a lifetime to compensate. And when I was 18 years old, I was fired from Red Lobster because I couldn't make small talk with customers, and I couldn't keep the order straight. I also could not count change. The reason I could not count change was because I was so stressed because of the social <laughs> social challenges I was facing that it made me so anxious that I couldn't do basic math, which I was fairly good at in school. And so my point is that um, we start out really poor in social skills. And then over years, in our 20s, 30s, I'm almost 40 now, we get better and better. But under stress, all these compensations begin to break down. And so we start to function at a much lower level than our intelligence and past achievements would indicate. This is very perplexing to people. But the brutal truth is that we are multifaceted individuals who can function extremely well at some times and very poorly at other times. So it's very unfair to expect us to maintain a steady level of high functioning on the one hand, and it's also very unfair to believe that we're always going to function at a low level and can't accomplish great things during our times that are free of stress when we're no longer manic or depressed. And so this has to do with being bipolar and having Asperger's syndrome, the combo. Um, many of you out there may have the same combination. Um, my boyfriend, Steve, has the same combination of, of conditions, and so we relate very well on these issues. And we have difficulty sometimes with parental understanding. It may be very difficult for parents to understand why their gifted and talented child, or even their average child, or slightly below average child, cannot function at the level that reflects their intelligence and education. With Asperger's syndrome, it does have to do with compensations breaking down under stress. With bipolar, it has to do with riding the moods and the level of functioning coincides. But um, it can be difficult to accept that your child has a disability. And it can also be difficult to accept that with a disability, there are also the potentials to be very creative and to do very good things that may shine in ways that other people cannot. Age. It's generally one third to two thirds less than our chronological age. I'm turning 40 in December and I feel 25, and I very well may be, um, not chronologically, but psychologically. Because I really feel that way. I feel new in life. I feel like um, someone much younger. And also, we're so trusting. And 
innocent and naive, even though I've been through some horrible things, I tend to still trust. I was very susceptible to peer pressure as a teenager, and I ended up just believing people and following along really strange pathways. I was raped at one point. I was the victim of a very severe attempt on my life that almost killed me. And people ask me sometimes, how could you have been through all you've been through and still maintain such an innocence about you? And I honestly don't know. But I've been going to a, a support network for Asperger's Syndrome and really working on these issues, trying to set boundaries, trying to sort out who's trustworthy and who's not. And it's been helpful. But the brutal truth, again, is that we are still taken advantage of despite our intelligence and despite our strengths in other areas. Now, even normal, quote, people who do not have neurological disabilities have their ups and downs, of course, and times when they function well and times when they don't function well. The difference is that with bipolar syndrome, it's very dramatic. And with Asperger's syndrome, it can also be very dramatic. You may find someone who's very social who suddenly becomes very withdrawn and who um, begins stuck in rigid patterns worse than ever before, caught up in obsessive interests to cope with stress. Someone who may not show that many symptoms of Asperger's syndrome under stress may show all of them and then some. And then when you add it to bipolar, you have quite the bounce. I love to blog. I love to share my own experience and support of others, and also just to vet my own <laughs> um, needs and frustrations at times. And I think it's a very helpful thing to do. And I'd really like to receive some response videos on the subject. Have you experienced similar things? What's it like not to be so-called normal and to try to live in a world with normal people, or quote normal people, <laughs> when struggling the way that we do. And I think it's amazing that we accomplish what we can despite our disadvantages. But um, the public needs a better grasp and understanding of us as well.